In this video, I'd like to introduce the diode clock, a digital clock built with diode diode logic, or DDL. Diode diode logic is a hobby project that allows arbitrary logic circuits, like clocks or eventually computers, to be built without transistors. The basic building block of DDL is the DDL01 hexor board, which is right here. The board contains around 100 passive components and between 42 and 48 common diodes, depending on whether it's configured as six NOR gates, three RS latches, or a single edge-triggered flip-flop. On the front of the board, six LEDs indicate the state of each gate, while on the back, these pins allow wiring the gates together to create more complex logic functions. To create circuits with multiple boards, they can be stacked using common threaded standoffs, as shown here. Two of the six standoffs provide power connections to the boards, a DC bias supply and a radio frequency power supply. It's a kind of strange thing about DDL that it uses a high frequency power supply. And by that I don't mean a switching DC to DC converter. I mean an AC signal at several megahertz is required for power. Anyway, you can see some jumper wires on the back connecting the gates here. I call this kind of assembly a, a logic stack. You can see the clock has four logic stacks, one for the seconds counter, one for the minutes, one for the hours, and another for the display itself. On the display stack, the LEDs are connected to the segments of the display instead of LEDs on the front of the gates. The same standoffs are used in these stacks as, as on here, except they're painted black. This conspicuously labeled button over here is connected to a test port on the back of the clock. When I was assembling and testing it, I didn't want to have to wait 24 hours to make sure the thing worked, so I added this feature. If I press it, the clock will cycle through a full 24 hours in 28.8 seconds. That means the seconds counter will be running at about 3 kilohertz. Uh, this version of diode diode logic uh, maxes out at about 3.3 kilohertz clock frequency, so this will be, this will be pushing it. Um, anyway, if I press the button, you can see that the, the second stack is running too fast to see. On the minutes stack, you can actually tell what's going on with the gates. Um, you can see that the first five boards here are wired as a modulo uh, 10 Johnson counter for the ones digit. The next three are wired as a modulo 6 Johnson counter for the tens digit. Um, and the decoded outputs are actually on the last three boards. You can see they're arranged as two circles, a larger circle for the ones and a smaller circle for the tens. Uh, after the cycle is complete, the clock goes back to normal timekeeping mode, um, and it it's, hasn't gained or lost any time. It, it, it's still at the correct time. Um, over here, you can see how much power the clock is consuming. It's consuming about 5 amps at, at 12 volts, or about 60 watts, um, as much as, a, as an old-fashioned light bulb. It's uh, not particularly power efficient, but it, it is a rather unique technology, so I guess it can be excused. Um, thank you very much for watching.